you have just seen with France how to create an application on top of Secure Manager without having any interaction with a Secure Manager, just using a STM32 CubeMX, but in Secure Manager environment. Now we will start uh, interacting with a Secure Manager and uh, here we will use the encryption to do that. So the purpose here of this uh, second hands-on is to show you the secure storage provisioning and the key usage in the cryptography. So we first generate a pre-formatted key store containing a secret key. We will reinstall the secure manager containing this new key store. And we will use a PSA crypto API using the provision key done in the previous step to encrypt the data. And we, ch we will check that the encrypted output is uh, correct. So let's start. So in our story, we now we have created our application. We have our timestamp information that is going in clear on the output and we want to make it confidential. So a simple way to do that is to use encryption and the ability to decrypt it on the target PC. For this, we, we, we use a simple AES CBC uh, for cryptographic operation. And for this, we will need to put in the, the encryption key in the target and protect it against any direct access. And uh, we need to add the encryption of the data before transmission to the UART. First, the PSA API we want to use is a PSA cipher encrypt. The key that we use could be stored either on the non-secure side or on the secure side. But uh, for obvious reason, the key should be uh, stored on the secure side. And for this, we can use the trusted storage to store this key. And uh, once we have then a way to provision this key at production in a secure way, and then to reuse it uh, later to do the encryption. And you will see that we will call this PSA cipher encrypt uh, service that is implemented in the cryptographic part of the secure manager. And this part will use the trusted storage internally to get access to the key and use it to encrypt. So first, let's copy a script and a key that we will use for this encryption. We provided you uh, the two, and so you can uh, copy them from uh, the material to your uh, workshop application. So let's do it. So go in the hands-on material here, and in road provisioning, Secure Manager, and you will find keys and ITS blob perso. Copy. And go back to your hands-on application. And in the same directory, root provisioning, SM, and paste the content here. So you will have now ITS blob perso. That was previous ITS blob bat and the keys. So here we want to provision some keys inside the secure manager. So the first thing we have to do is to remove the secure manager we have already downloaded. So first, uh, disconnect from the debugger. So you have launched uh, the application with France. So just disconnect to release the JTAG. And here, come back to your application and go to road provisioning here and in the DA directory. And then you have here a regression.bat. You can simply launch it. And this script will automatically perform a regression of your device. That's it. So the device now is, uh, is clean, is reopened, and we can go on. First thing to do is to generate our new key blob. So go back to Secure Manager and launch ITS blob perso.bat. 
So it should be quite fast. So you can close this window and you can open this log file. So I will open with a notepad and you can see here that we use this ITS builder and here we are creating only one key, AES key 256 bits that is persistent and used for encryption and we provide the key in clear. So with this, we have created the trusted storage structure, so the kind of file system that will be used next time we will provision the secure manager. So I close it. Let's go back to the slides. So here we were in the trust zone close. We are with our application and we have done this regression and we launched this ITS builder through this uh, script ITS block perso.bat and with this key we generate a new blob ITS factory blob.bin so here it is and now we just need to install again the secure manager so to do this just launch again provisioning auto.bat you should see that after some time in the traces with ITS blob here. So as you can see, we use ITS factory blob.bin. And this binary is put inside a SFI file, so encrypted, and sent to the target. So if I launch the camera, you can see that it will start blinking after some time once the secure manager is fully installed with the default application. Here it is. So now we have reinstalled our secure manager and this secure manager contains our new key. So here we have introduced our new ITS blob factory in the different OAM parts of the SFI file. And so, as I said, we are generating a full image containing the secure manager together with this ITS blob perso, the default application, the, so the let blink application, and also default OEM secrets. One default OEM secret is the authentication key, so the key to authenticate the application. And so now we have in our target this new key in the trusted storage then we can use this key. To do this, we need to uh, call this PSA, new PSA API, and uh, we will use kubemix to enable this uh, PSA API. So let's go back to kubemix. So here we were configuring the simple application. Please go to middlewares and software packs and select Secure Manager API. Here, yes, here it is. Secure Manager, first you can see Secure Manager profile. We have here only a large profile. In next version of uh, Secure Manager, we will have a smaller profiles, uh, meaning that we will reduce, for example, the number of cryptographic algorithm implemented in the secure manager to leave more space for the non-secure application. So here we have the larger profile for the, this uh, uh, first step. And in this part, you can see that we can enable one each secure manager um, service. So here we need only the cryptography service. So we'll check it and ju just uh, generate the code again. Thanks to this, we will add all the needed files uh, related to the call of the cryptographic operation to be able to use the cryptographic services. So once this code generation is done, you can just close the pop-up that will appear here. Here it is, so close. And go back to the cube ID and you can see here what you have and just perform 
a refresh. And you can see that these two directories were added. So uh, middlewares, so you have the Secure Manager API, and you have also this small Secure Manager API uh, directory. The next step is to enable this encryption so to facilitate this we have just added this uh, flag so please uncomment output and data flag and if you want to see what it means here under this flag we have this encrypt data with the call to PSL cipher encrypt so now you can compile and while it's compiling I'm coming back to the slides showing you what we have done so here it is so we have added all this made a refresh this and now we can test our application so we need to download it again just press uh, on the bug button to download the application and we should see something coming in the terminal so let's see so the build is okay we are downloading the application so timestamp event version 1 you need to wait here and launch it. If I press the blue button, you can see that we have now encrypted data coming out. If I come back to the slides, we can see we have the same here. And we can uh, launch uh, this script to decrypt uh, on the PC, the, the content of the output. So to do this, just go back to the hands-on material and go to Tools and Decrypt UI.exe. This is a simple Python script that will use the same key that we used previously here. This is, this is the key we have uh, provisioned to trusted storage. Then you can copy one of the encrypted parts. So edit, copy, and here paste. Control V and decrypt. And you can see the decryption is uh, looking exactly the same that we had before without encryption. So this is working fine. So to give you a bit more explanation, when we press the blue button, we now encrypt the buffer with a new key, the key that uh, is lying on the trusted storage with index 23. We get back the encrypted buffer and send it to the UART. So that's why you were seeing encrypted data. So the implementation is here. You can see PSA cipher encrypt. We provide the index of the key in trusted storage. The algorithm we want to use, the input buffer and the output buffer. It's uh, as simple as that. And you can also add a breakpoint. So we can do it now uh, in detection.c. If I double click here and press on the blue button here again. Here we can see the code stack. So we went here in the encryption of data. So we have in the input buffer where we can see detection button and the date and so on in the clear format. The output before the encryption is uh, zero and then I can just uh, step over this call. So here we have called the secure manager API 
to encrypt the data and we get back the output buffer that is encrypted. So here, nothing that uh, can be uh, read in clear. And then you can uh, go and uh, just uh, debug as you want. This was for debugging. So here is the PSA API we use for this example. Um, for uh, some details, uh, there was a random initialization vector that was generated uh, thanks to this API that is added to the output. And um, the script you use to decrypt uh, was reading this random, uh, this IV in the output buffer to be able to decrypt. Anyway, you have the details of this uh, API in the ARM uh, site uh, for PSA API. And uh, you have also a lot of details in the STM32MCU wiki on the H5. So in conclusion, we have seen how to provision a cryptographic key or data, any data actually in a, at production, so in a, and in a secure way because uh, we uh, we download to the target an encrypted uh, SFI file. And uh, we have seen that thanks to Cubemix, we can manage to integrate uh, the PSA API in our projects in a very simple way and uh, how to debug the implementation uh, and uh, how to use uh, the, this PSA API. And um, in the previous hands-on, you have seen the secure boot and isolation. And here now on the security function, you can see that we have a security uh, manufactured uh, in a secure way our, uh, our secret key. We have used the crypto engine and also the secure storage. So secure manufacturing, downloading the secure storage. Let's go to the next uh, step uh, with France. Thank you for your attention.